India has been home to quite some artists who are doins of their field and the minds behind some real exhibits of brilliance. Hello friends let's take a look at some famous paintings of India by the artistic legends that have remained enduring masterpieces over the times. Number 10. Tamil Girls with Her Parrots by S. Alayaraja. S. Alayaraja's paintings are renowned for being hyperreal, almost photographical as he depicts Dravidian girls, in his much acclaimed, inimitable style. In the painting, the girl is seen sitting with her parrots, and smiling subtly into the frame with a knowing look in her eyes. Alayaraja painstakingly breathes life into every detail, from the folds of the girl's dress to the shining gold-threaded patterns and borders of her skirt. The pretty parrots perched on the windowsill behind her, the brown wooden frame behind her and the cemented floor. Bathed in an almost angelic golden light, the painting showcases the artist's deep bond with his cultural background, growing up in a temple town in Tamil Nadu. Number 9. Glow of Hope by B. S. L. Hal Dankar. Seventy years ago, a young, demure girl stood still for three hours with a lamp in her hand. She was posing for a work of art being created by her father S. L. Hal Dankar. This watercolor masterpiece, popularly known as Lady with a Lamp or Glow of Hope has been a star attraction in the Sri Jayakamari Indra Art Gallery in Jagamohan Palace in Mysore for nearly 60 years now. The sensitivity, simplicity, soft and subtle colors used as well as the ethereal depiction of the light reflecting from the fingers, has made this painting a highly regarded work which is renowned worldwide. Number 8. Bindu by S. H. Rasa a legendary modern artist who popularized Indian iconography globally, Syed Haider Rasa never tired of the Bindu or the Shunya that became the focal point of energy in his work. Through his long and prolific career, his first solo exhibition was in the year 1946, Rasa's art evolved continuously. But by the 70s, he had found the motif that would make him a legend, the Bindu. Rasa once stated that Bindu is a source of energy, source of life. Life begins here, attains infinity here. Number 7. Days of Glory by Satish Gudral. Satish Gudral was a noted painter and a Padma Vibhushan awardee. However, the scope of his artwork goes beyond painting. It encompasses writing, murals and creating sculpture. He created Days of Glory in 1952. It is a black and white painting and reflects human emotions of pain, suffering and trauma which he witnessed during the partition of India and Pakistan. Number 6. Self-Portrait by Rabindranath Tagore. Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore started painting in 1924 at the age of 63. Though long before this, an element of effort could be noticed in the various corrections and doodles in his manuscripts. Towards the end of his career, Tagore, striving to create a universally accessible art, took up painting more consistently, unworked background and the use of primitive looking pencil lines. Number 5. Mahishasura by Tayab Mehta. The most important work by India's finest contemporary artist, Tayab Mehta's Mahishasura, a reinterpretation of the tale of the demon by the same name, was the first Indian painting to cross the million-dollar mark. The painting happened after Tayab's visit to Shantanikatan where he was inspired by the legend of Mahishasura, resulting in a powerfully modern work full of fresh vitality. Number 4. Bengal Women by Manishi Day Manishi Day was the student of Abhinindranath Tagore and Shantanikatan. Abhinindranath Tagore laid emphasis on traditional Indian culture art forms. And hence, Day's painting centered around promoting the traditional Indian cultural heritage. Manishi Day painted Bengal women around 1950. It captures the essence of rural Bengali women. Number 3. Shakunala by Raja Ravi Verma. Shakunala is an epic painting by celebrated Indian painter, Raja Ravi Verma. Ravi Verma, depicts Shakuntala, an important character of Mahabharata, pretending to remove a thorn from her foot, while actually looking for her husband-slash-lover, Dushyantha, while her friends call her bluff. Number 2. Bapuji by Nand Lal Bose. Everybody knows about Mahatma Gandhi as one of the greatest freedom fighters the world has ever seen. But how many among us know that Bapu has been a muse for many of his contemporary artists both in India and abroad? The legendary Nand Lal Bose, an artist of Shantanikatan during the lifetime of Gandhi, had stated that Bapu was an inspiration for all artists. His famous linocut portrait of the Mahatma titled Dandi March created in 1930, reflects his respect for Gandhi and is on permanent display at the National Gallery of Modern Art in Delhi. Number 1. Self-Portrait by Amrita Shergill. This is a 1931 self-portrait by Amrita Shergill. 
depicting one of India's most important modern artists at the age of 18. This is the also first painting by the artist ever to be offered in Christie's London, and one of only eight canvases by Shergill to be offered at auction globally. Shergill self-portraits are painted with an intensity that is almost hypnotic, drawing the viewer into the innermost psyche of the artist, where one discovers a sea of melancholy. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, or subscribe to my channel.